Oh, the game carried me. Oh, come on now. Bum. Oh, <laughs> get out of here, boy. Come here. Ah, 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 ah. Come on, man. He come on. Here. C come here, old boy. Come here. Come here, old boy. <sighs> I like. I like it. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Love C Shotter coming at y'all with another video today, man. Today we're gonna be getting into Devlaw 9 of my solo project called Bloody Knuckle Street Boxing. October 1st will be officially two years that I've been working on this game by myself, man. And I'm very happy to say that we are at third base when it comes to the gameplay, bruh. And y'all been showing hella love in my comment section, hella love on my Instagram, bruh. So you know I got to turn up for y'all boys today, man. We ain't going to talk too much, bro. We're going to get right into the video, dog. Today, we're going to be talking all about intelligence. So I really need y'all boys to put y'all thinking caps on today because ain't a damn thing artificial about it, boy. You know what I'm saying? Alright y'all, y'all know how we do this man, we do everything live bro, so y'all can see everything that I'm doing as I'm doing it bro, we got the hand cam on deck bro, we finna go ahead and get into it bro, so what I'm gonna start off by doing is, is showing y'all some of the things that y'all may have missed in my last post, which is a sparring video, if you haven't seen that video, I highly suggest you check it out, cause it was a dope ass sparring match, definitely had an ugly ass knockout, but I made up for that knockout with a big old knockout compilation you know what i'm saying and i, I put the best ones on there y'all didn't get all the knockouts but y'all got the best ones though bro because i had to make up for that ugly ass knockout but anyway so if you didn't notice we got new hud now the hood is actually attached to the player now so it follows them around and i actually like it better this way but the ultimate goal with the hood that follows the player is i want the stamina bar to be down here in more of a radial sense think about how the player indicator is on 2k like i want the, the stamina bar to be down here i want the rage meter to be at the top part of it and I want the, the regional damage thing right here to be like, you know, somewhere around the back foot. But I mean, it, it's kind of complicated to, to like get into all this UI stuff. I'm still learning with the UI stuff. I ain't really dealt with UI in a long time. And then now we dealing with world space UI. So it's a whole nother monster, bro. But we gonna get into that a little bit later. Like I said, we just wrapping up gameplay right now. Third base, baby. You know what I'm talking about? And study, this is the rage meter, dog. <laughs> you click in the right stick, and that's the rage. And you know how the rage go. So the idea for the rage meter was basically to help out somebody that's getting their ass handed to them a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You can get mad and, you know, just start doing your thing. And start getting back some of that health you got. So one of the upgrades I added to the rage is that, let's say... Let's say you've been taking a lot of body shots and your own stamina meter going down. As you can see, hold up, let me get the mouse. I'm pointing at the screen like y'all can see my finger. Stupid! <laughs> but as you can see, I done gave him some body shots and his stamina meter has decreased. His total stamina meter has decreased. It's way smaller than mine. One of the new upgrades to the rage system is that whenever you call on your rage, you'll actually gain some of that back. I think it's somewhere around 20%. Like, I ain't gonna let you get a whole lot of it back. But, like I said, man, if you get your ass handed to you, it's gonna help you out a little bit. I've also granted invincibility for a short amount of time while you're doing the rage animation, so that way you're not taking punches while you're doing this. You can easily just eat up some shots while you're doing that, so well, you'll, you'll see it whenever I get into a little sparring match with him. I'm gonna go ahead and greet him one time. But whenever I go into rage mode and he swings on me, it's just going to register as a block. So I ain't going to take no damage whenever I get hit during that. And to wrap it up with a nice little bow, 
I have officially made it to where your rage actually increases your punching power, but we're going to get into all of the punching power stuff in a little bit. Another small detail that y'all probably didn't notice, and I'm going to credit this to my man Sin City. He's reaching for him now whenever he throws his punch from far away. So the player has a has a distance. He always knows. He always is aware of the distance between him and his opponent. So as you can see, I'm close to him. And, you know, of course, he's like barely can reach him. But if I'm back here, he's actually reaching for him. He's trying to reach out to hit him. And, you know, I got to work on that a little bit. But it, it, it works really good, though. So, like, you know, if he's, if he's really far away, he's going to reach. If he's close, not going to reach. All right, so another small detail that y'all probably missed in that video is that I added new damage animations. Before, there were only two. There was a hit to the left. There was a hit to the right. There's actually six now. So now there's a hit to the right, a hit to the left, a hit to the middle, and then there's three heavy versions of the same one. So hit left, heavy hit left, hit right, heavy hit right, so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? So bow, bow. You see his head turns a little bit more. Bow, bow. You see, you know, bow. Oh, shit, I missed. But you see small crap that heavy. Well, hold up, nigga. Watch your head snapping back. I think I messed up something in here. I think one of my settings is on. Um, is this head setting? Look, yeah. Yeah, let me get this boy back right. I forgot to fix that earlier. Because I'm trying to get this man's head to, like, react better whenever he's um in ragdoll mode. So, wow. That's a regular hit. You see, it cracks his head back a little bit further. Ooh, damn, that kind of hurt my neck. <laughs> <laughs> there's a punch information system now i won't get into how i got it done but basically every time a punch gets thrown out information about that punch gets thrown out so the opponent knows what punch he got hit by and whether it was a haymaker or not and he'll respond accordingly all right so the biggest upgrade i made to this whole system is the counter punch system so this is what i want to get into i, I saved that for last because i know that's going to take a while to explain because it's not your typical counter punch system it's, it's similar to fight night but it's not exactly the same so uh let me let me go ahead and grab a couple of things real quick so i can explain this to y'all right way blow blow okay all right Pay attention to my player, right? All right. So, here's a collider. Now, you see the big the big sphere that's around his head? That's his counterpunch uh, zone, I guess. That's his counterpunch zone, and it, it's huge right now. I'm going to make it smaller, but I just made it big like that for testing. So, basically, whenever he throws a punch and that punch goes into that zone, it's a trigger, and it triggers some events. So whenever his hand goes in there, it triggers the slow-mo. Now, the crazy thing about the, the counterpunch, the way I put it, is that every counterpunch is not guaranteed. You can go into the slow motion and still get cracked. Just because it goes slow motion doesn't mean that you get the counterpunch. You actually have to use it as more of like a, a reflex mode. Think about Metal Gear Solid 5. Like, you get the slow motion, but you can still fuck up excuse my language but you can still mess up in this uh, zone so he throws the punch reflex mode goes and it pretty much slows down time so it can help you get out of the way of the punch or you can make a quick decision to throw the block up you know what i'm saying so i wouldn't say it's a counter punch system it's, it's like more of a reflex mode so assuming that you did everything right you went into reflex mode you got out of the way of the punch now you can just throw a punch and you know then it turns into a fight night type of counter punch it lands it deals more damage than the regular punch there's like a multiplier i think i multiplied it by like 1.2 it's not gonna deal that much more damage but it's definitely gonna deal more damage there's a little twist that i added to it the other day that i think y'all might like so i told y'all before the way to get your rage meter up is basically to take punches every time you take a punch your rage meter goes up a little bit. If you get cracked by a counter punch, you lose 25% of your current rage. 
And I'll show y'all that whenever we get into a sparring match. I'm going to spar one time before I get out of here. I really like the way that this is coming out because there was a lot of unintentional things that happened when I tried to put this system in place and it really worked out well. For example, once you get once you actually have dodged the punch and you throw a counter punch, both hands pretty much are charged up with a counter punch so you can basically throw a counter combo. But you got to be quick though because there is a counter window. Your counters can be blocked, you can miss, and they can also be canceled out by you taking a punch while throwing a counter punch. So if I'm throwing that punch and I get cracked in the middle of it, the punch is still going to follow through, but it's not a counter punch no more. I think I like that. Y'all like that? I like it, dog. Because it keeps it from being overpowered. All right, so now I want y'all to direct y'all attention to this side of the screen as I wrap this video up and let y'all know how my damage system works. I finally came up with a damage equation that I believe is pretty fair and it's definitely gonna make you wanna protect yourself. So as I said in the sparring video, I've just started to incorporate attributes into the game. Right here, you'll see the attribute script. Um, right now, I only have power, chin, toughness, and guard, which the guard is the only one that isn't really being utilized right now, but these three are definitely being used. And, excuse me, forgot about this. This is a vulnerability stat that's in the player. The vulnerability stat is directly tied to your stamina. So the, the lower your stamina goes, the higher your vulnerability goes. So let me select my player and you'll see that. Okay, so I'm on my player right now. Pay attention to the vulnerability as I throw punches. Vulnerability is going way up as I'm throwing punches. I'm spamming right now. This. See, when I said you can spam, like this is one of the combos that you can spam, but look how high your vulnerability is. That's going to, you're going to pay for that, basically. <laughs> you can spam all you want to. All it's going to take is one shot for you to be out of there if your vulnerability is that high for the most part. You're going to take a lot of damage because the way that I have it set up is the equation, the equation takes all of these things it takes all of these numbers and it calculates the damage the vulnerability plays a big part and your chin and power and your toughness is going to play a big part too so that way you guys are going to have an incentive to actually grind your players and work on the training games that i put in the game so that you don't just go out there and be like oh i'm gonna hop on the game and go straight online no you're gonna get your head knocked out sorry <laughs> go get your ass slept dog this is basically information um you'll see you'll see exactly how much damage is being dealt with every punch that i throw so um yeah let's see hold up uh yep so 20 to the head because you see i done already knocked his stamina down some so his vulnerability is pretty high let's see what his vulnerability is right now his vulnerability is 21 that's the lowest it's gonna go with his stamina being like that so 20 damage and i threw a haymaker so let me throw a regular punch come on bomb so 12 and hey, let me de collapse that so y'all can see it in real time so bomb. 20 20 regular punch 12 let me take his stamina down some Take his stamina down just a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna throw a haymaker to his head and see what we get. Boom! 33. You see how it multiplies? Your vulnerability is really gonna matter. So spam all you want to, dog. If your stamina's low, like even if I'm like, let's say I'm spamming like this, I got a bunch of stamina as far as my full stamina, but my temporary stamina, which is the green bar, is low. I'm going to get cracked in that, and yeah, I'm probably going to get knocked out. So yeah, you see, 36. Give him a couple body shots. Blow. 41. So you can kind of see how it's multiplying, and you can see how you can really get in trouble like that. Now we about to scrap. And then we're going to get up out of here, bro. See what this boy talking about. Now I put it on full screen. I'm about to, I'm about to fade this boy. I can't guarantee I'm about to win because me and him be getting into it.
Come here, boy. Give me that body. Oh, 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 shit. See what I'm saying? You can miss. Ah, oh my god. Gotta work on the target system. Gotta work on the target. Alright, come on now. You you take it. Mm -mm. Blum. Ooh. <laughs> Blum. Mm, come here, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. I just made him mad. Oh, hold up. Let me show y'all an example. Let me counter punch. Watch it. You see how his own rage meter is right now. Watch. Blum. Oh, okay, I'm gonna just go ahead and heal him with the straight. Oh, shit. I wanna I want y'all to see how his rage meter goes down whenever I counter him. Now, see that? See all that rage he lost? Come on, boy. I got that from Lomachenko, boy. When Lomachenko be just <laughs> Lomachenko be overwhelming people and they just be like confused and they just quit, bro. They lose all will to fight. That's where that come from, dog. Lomachenko. Oh come on, I got cap right there. Bum with the body shot, boy. He felt that. Bum, he felt that. Slip and rip to the body. <laughs> Study, I love your accent, bro. Oh, nice. Yeah, slip and rip to the body there. Slip and rip to the body. Oh, look at that. That bit of movement. And then, bang, straight to the body. Really nice. Slip and rip to the body. <laughs> Why this nigga ain't playing with me, boy? Stop playing! Stop playing, boy. Slip and rip to the ball day. Come on, let's do it again. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, shit. He cracked me just then. Uh. Uh. Bam. Oh, I don't even know what just landed right there. Still working on the inside fight. But yeah, you see, you can dodge multiple punches. And I think now that I've gotten into that and I'm seeing the, the, the possibilities of what I can do with this game, now I'm thinking about multiplying the, the counter damage whenever you dodge multiple punches. Bam! But you see, you see, it went slow motion and I got cracked. It's not guaranteed. That way it ain't, it's not overpowered. See, it's not overpowered, bro, because you can still get cracked in reflex. Blum. Oh, see? Too late out the window. Too late out the counter window. Blum. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Get out of here. Ooh! I'm done, dog. I'm done. Y'all can't see no more. Y'all can't see no more, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you leave a like, boy. And, hey, vulnerability matters, bro. Don't spam. Uh,